Hello, this is Tim Law with Plan of Forward Coaching, Self-Reliance U, and I'm pleased to have uh, uh, Russ Blake and his son Donovan here for this um, uh, interview. And anyway, I was going to start with Donovan asking him a couple of questions because I know he's, he's very much into baseball, and I'd like to just see what he has to say as far as, um, you know, kind of his story coming up through baseball. So Donovan, go ahead if you could... Uh, uh, kind of describe where you uh, where you got started and and um, you know what you like most about the sport those kinds of things. Um, well, I've been playing since I was like what six six something like that yeah. So it's pretty much been in my life all my life and uh, it's always just been a thing like looking forward every year to the baseball season. And I mean it's it was a little just a game when I was little but it's really just more than that now. It's just like part of my life really you know good um i think what i like best about it is uh, there's a lot of things but um the life lessons okay because it really teaches you a lot well, 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 give me give me some examples uh donovan as far as uh, life lessons that you've actually learned from uh, from uh, the great sport of baseball keeping your composure uh-huh. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. Totally agree. Um, thinking through things. Mm -hmm. You have to, like, every time you get up to bat, you have to think through, like, what, what's, what's the pitcher going to do, you know, what, where you should focus on, like, what pitch you should focus on trying to hit and what you should try and, you know, like, what your goal is for that at bat. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, what positions do you play in the field, Donovan? Um, outfield. Okay. Okay. And really, center, left, right. Um, center mostly, but I mean, here or there, I'll play left. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. So, would you consider? Do you think you have a better uh, stick or a better glove? Good. Okay. okay. Glove overall, you think? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, let me ask your dad something here, Russ. I know your background has been a lot in. Uh, uh, bicycling and, th and that kind of thing uh, kind of give us uh, an idea of what um, you know what what that sport and uh, you know your involvement with it and uh, you know why you like it you know so fire away all right well <clears throat> my athletic background uh, when I was a kid was you know really baseball just like Donovan um, I, I played catcher I was I was all right I mean uh, truth be told Donovan has more talent at the sport than I do um but I mean, it was something I really enjoyed. And it was, I got mad at baseball at one point when I was in high school and kind of decided to stop with it. And I didn't really care for it until my son kind of brought the love for the game back into me, you know? So uh, some, you're done with saying about life lessons and, and mm -hmm. about his composure. And I, I'm going to wholeheartedly agree that uh, when Donovan was a little kid, we used to say he'd have moments, you know, and it was, it was him losing his temper. And Donovan had a fantastic coach that's in the Northeast area, a guy named Sean Floyd who did leaps and bounds, helping Donovan progress as an athlete, but also, you know, as, as a person. Um, then, you know, to kind of segue back, I want to make sure I'd mention that just because I, I am so appreciative of Sean for everything he's done. I know Donovan is too. Um, <clears throat> cycling for me was when I was a kid, it was getting out, getting away. You know, I've never been a person that can really stay indoors for that long. And so it was a way to go see the world. And uh, as I got older, you know, wasn't of the age that could have a driver's license, you know, at 13, 14 or whatever. And it just started being, Hey, I want to get a 10 speed and ride over my buddy's house, 10 miles away or whatever. And it just grew more and more. And I found I had talent at it, uh, got into the racing scene and did quite well. Um, it's kind of unfortunately taken a backseat the past few years here uh, since we moved to this new property and then mm -hmm. just the kids being active, but cycling for me it's a lot of the same things what Don was telling you know life lessons and you know when you have a really good season you race 50 races and you you win five races that's a fantastic season sure, you literally sure. lost 45 times yeah so that's right that's right it teaches yeah. you to appreciate those wins it teaches you to all the hard work that goes into it and then when you know it's really crappy weather you, you know it's it's 30 mile an hour wind gusts and, and it's you know 35 degrees you still go out and train Mm -hmm. because that's stuff the other guys aren't doing it. it's what you're going to do you're going to do your extra work to get your body to where it needs to be you know and so cycling opened a lot of opportunities for me uh in the business world and just 
ended up going to Europe for, for cycling stuff. It was, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I still, you can see the bikes hanging behind. I, I still get to, to ride and I want to get back into race and it's just more, you know, the past couple of years have been real tough with everything here, but I think sport is imperative for, for any young man, especially, or, or lady for that fact. Um, it, it teaches you those lessons that you're going to be able to carry on into your, your career as well as dealing with your children <laughs> eventually or dealing with your spouse or whatever. It's just sport is, is really something that prepares you for a lot of the good and bad points of life. Right. Yeah. I to totally agree, Russ. And uh, I'm glad uh, Donovan brought up the idea of the life lessons. And I really like the one that you picked Donovan, you know, be, you know, keeping your cool and that kind of thing, because again, just like in life, I mean, in, in sport, guess what? Newsflash, the other guy or other girl, they want to win too, you know? And it's really, it's no fun. I mean, to me, the greatest competitions are those where it's like, you know, you've got a great competition going through the innings or, or a set of tennis or a wrestling match, and you're not really quite sure who's going to win versus, the, you know, the blowout. The blowouts can be kind of boring either way, and they really don't, you know, to me, they're not as intriguing as, as the, the, you know, the competition and getting used to it. Okay, so Donovan, um, what other what other uh, things, uh, what other life lessons um, as far as baseball are concerned, or any other sport that you've done? How are you applying those lessons to, let's say, school? I think we had talked a little before about the idea of, you know, you kind of wish when you were younger, and in fairness, when you're younger, you don't really grasp that. You know, as far as kind of working a little bit harder at your younger years, and now you're 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 working much harder now. Why has that become so important for you? Well, because I think putting in the work for is valid. It's going to be important. You're going to have to do it for anything you do in life. So learning to do that when you're young is probably it's like very valuable to it for your success the rest of your life. Sure. And a like, couple of, go ahead. I'm sorry. I mean, I was just going to say, like, if you have, if you're, like, I've always been the type of kid, like I never had to study for anything. Uh huh. Just like got it. But now lately, I'm kind of math class is kind of getting to me. Mm -hmm. So I've had to study for that. And it's just, it's a thing that takes baseball and you want to practice every day. Now, translating that to school is it's def definitely more valuable than like, you know, a kid who doesn't play sport. Sure, sure. Well, and one of the things, and I've talked to some of these college guys too, uh, you know, Cody Reeser, uh, Kyle O'Keefe, uh, Colin Wunsch. And, and a number of other guys and, and just the idea that, um, uh, you know, being willing to, to work and, and try to improve yourself, you should always try to compete against your own best self. And that, that's really, really important. And, and what's interesting is, is that, you know, if you're looking to play uh, collegiately or whatever, obviously you've got to have the marks as well. They don't need to bring somebody in on a, uh, a scholarship in any sport and, and, the, and the person within the first semester is going to be gone. So that's, uh, you know, it's kind of a wasted spot. Um, Russ, how about back to you then as far as, um, you know, some of the life lessons uh, that you would suggest as far as, let's say a kid's a junior or a senior, or they're actually in the, uh, uh, in a situation where they are um, uh, already in college, you know, that kind of thing, you know? In terms of cycling or just in sport? Just, just, just sports in general, you know, you know. Um. I mean, it's that, that thing of, of taking failure and realizing that itself is, is, is a lesson. Uh -huh. you know, it really makes you refine yourself. And, that, and again, that could be applicable to school. That could be applicable to life, your job. You know, when you fail, you can go back and see the reasons maybe why you failed and identify those and mm -hmm. work harder. Just don't accept and be like, I'm not good at math. You know, right. it's, it's something of studying for it. You know, utilizing your tools that are out there, other people who can help you. Um, we were saying about, you had interviewed Cody Reeser, you know, with Donovan, he has gotten to the point now that he knows he has to work. Mm -hmm. So in, in going, you know, to Cody, he's, he's working on those, those fitness tools. Um, there's also a coach that is at the high school that assists, uh, assists there, Manny Vasquez. And Manny has helped Donovan a lot with some hitting. And then was even, he, he wants Donovan to pitch because he's mm -hmm. going out there and having him throw some different pitches and stuff like that. So there's, and Sean Floyd mentioned before, these people that have just been a huge impact on, on Donovan. And, well, and our travel ball coach that we had had when we played over in Lancaster uh, for the Keystone Bombers, a guy named Drew Anthony. Mm -hmm. Drew, Drew was fantastic with Donovan, too. And he was blunt. Mm -hmm. Donovan couldn't walk around with that little bit of cockiness 
Drew knocked him down a couple pegs every time. Sure, and it sure. was good to see that because it keeps all the kids grounded. So sport yeah. in of itself, like I was saying, it it helps you it helps you to learn through failure. It, it helps you to uh, a lot of things that happen in sport. You can apply to life. You can apply to everything. I right. guess it's kind of a hard question to answer because I just see them. I see you know sport and life so intermingled and everything. You know, you you learn from sport. You can apply to life. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. And, and I think I mentioned it to one of the college guys I was talking to. The cool thing about sports and everything is it's uh, it, during this whole COVID thing, it's, it's almost like a suit of armor for us emotionally compared to people that haven't been involved with any kind of sports or, or any extracurricular sports band, music, extracurricular activities. And just the idea that um, uh, this COVID thing has been a challenge for everybody, but I think we probably, because of having this suit of armor on called athletics and competition and sport, we're probably a little bit better adapted for the ups and downs that we've, that, you know, we've experienced with, with COVID. It's, it's not been an easy year. I mean, let's face it, but I think um, the, the athletes among us and, and the coaches certainly uh, have a big plus that way. Well, guys, this has been great. Is there, are there any, um, is there a good way to uh, get a hold of you guys if, um, and Russ, I'll leave it with you. If uh, anybody were to have a question for either you or Donovan, you know, going forward, as far as we could get your, uh, your email and or uh, okay. along with your uh, phone number, please. Well, I'll give, I'll give an email. Don't take it the wrong way. I just usually don't put my phone number out there. That's you know, fine. In, the, in the field that we are, I don't feel like having uh, eighth graders. Totally. Right no, totally get it. <laughs> totally get it. Yep. So we'll just have it that uh, if anybody, you know, would have questions about uh, either Donovan or myself or whatever. Um, you can just send me an email. So it would be uh, Blake R at nebobcats.org. Um, right. I'm also a, a teacher at the Northeastern School District. So uh, that's usually the easiest way to get a hold of me. Excellent. Excellent. I appreciate it, guys. And if you, uh, you know, come across any other coaches, uh, other young people, college and beyond coaches or whatever that would like to do, um, you know, one of these um, interviews that we will put up on YouTube and you know, please encourage anybody that you you know to subscribe to Plain and Forward Coaching. Uh, looking forward to, you know, trying to continue to improve that. And the more subscribers we have, the more views you guys get. And, you know, the more kids uh, that we can actually help with this program. So that's kind of what the goal is from my end, you know. Very cool. Yes, so, definitely do that for you. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. I do appreciate it. And uh, we'll definitely stay in touch. Thank you, Donovan. Uh, Excellent job. You're a young guy and uh, you, did, you did a very good job. And I, Russ, I appreciate you very much. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Law. Okay. Have thanks, good guys. Evening. Thank you. Right. See you.